after four long years of self-discovery and self-questioning, of all-nighters and all-night-outers, Facebooking and facing books, I have concluded an exhaustive study, and the results I have found show that my do and their do. They're not the same Duke. You see, it took me so long to realize this because no one ever exposed me to the faces of Duke. No one ever said that the frat party Duke or the eating disorder Duke or the biz invest bank consult someday I'll give back to the world. That Duke? Then it's not the only one out there. They said I'd get used to the scandals. They warned me about the sophomore slump. They shrugged. It's just Duke. But really? It's their Duke. Let me tell you a little bit about their Duke. Their Duke is a breeding ground for sleeplessness, study aids, lowered self-esteem, and increased alcohol dependency. Their Duke is a group thinking, binge drinking, regressive, oppressive, unimpressive conformity. Their Duke would rather have perfectly magazine green moms than that students feel the dewy afternoon grass between their toes. Their Duke thinks it doesn't have a race problem. But really, it's just so damn racially segregated that white people don't have to voice their racial slurs outside of the comfort of their own social groups. Their Duke programmatically comes out girls who feel like shit and guys who make girls feel like shit in the process shits on guys and girls who don't want to participate in such a heteronormative backwards conversion. There it is. moving Duke forward without moving anything else forward. Their Duke is effortful in perfection. There it is. Work hard, play hard. Work hard, play hard. Work harder than you should for that GPA and play hard enough to black out and forget about all you sacrifice for it. Work hard to convince people that you're going to change the world someday and play hard if you didn't just set that job off or kind of kids. Work hard making it look like you only play and then play so hard that you have to work, to work, to work just to make up the time you lost barfing alone in the shooter's bathroom. Their Duke is all of these things. But these things are not all that Duke is. It took me a four year long investigation, a seemingly fruitless treasure hunt, but now, just as I'm about to move on, I finally found it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to present to you my Duke, so that when my findings have been published, even after I'm long gone, you'll have at least a glimpse of the secret ruins I've uncovered. My Duke is perfectly unbalanced dreadfully comfortable, and most of the time, utterly enough. My Duke is a warm hand on my lower back, placing enough pressure to make me work hard, but providing enough strength when I feel like I can't. My Duke is the flavor of a breezy l dot broken haze mixed with the bitter punch of a days till graduation countdown. My Duke is Trevor and Julie each buying me a different flavor of cookout milkshake and making me choose a favor? My Duke is living on a central campus and walking to the gardens every day just to get to class. My Duke is skipping class in Buenos Aires to go to a million person march. My Duke is getting lunch with my favorite professor so many times now she asks me for advice. My Duke is the walk from the Blue Zone to the Apple Building. My Duke. Skipping class on the day I was at to go to a concert. My Duke is a game of dare, rock, paper, scissors. My Duke is the triangle desks on first floor Perkins. My Duke is the loops, cranberry, and goat cheese salad. My Duke is Walt Whitman, Nabokov, Stacey Ann Shin. My Duke. It's clearly not their Duke. And though my Duke is about to become a lost empire, I hope my findings have been enough to convince you that there is more than one Duke. And that it's not too late for you to find yours.